Standing about 20 feet high in Brompton Cemetery in London, you can find the Courtois Mausoleum, which is surrounded in legend and theories. The tomb is often referred to as a time machine. The large stone monument with a bronze door stands out amongst the surrounding tombs and headstones in this Victorian cemetery. So what's the story? How did this tomb become known as a possibly functioning Victorian time machine? There are those who also say it contains a shortcut to a Paris cemetery or maybe a teleportation device. There are claims that it has no key, has not been opened since its occupants were interred, and it is the only tomb in the cemetery with no plans on record. The tomb gives no indication as to who its occupants are or when it was built, but we know that it belongs to Hannah Courtois. She died in 1849 and was moved to the tomb when it was completed about five years later. Two of her three daughters are also interred with her. From what I've discovered, Hannah was perhaps a bit of a curious woman for her time. She was born Hannah Peters in 1784. She never married but had three daughters. When she was about 30 years old, she inherited a substantial amount of money from a wealthy merchant, John Courtois. Mr. Courtois was considerably older than her, and I have no idea what their relationship was, but she ended up with his last name and his money. Her will in the British National Archives has her listed as Hannah Courtois, otherwise Hannah Peters, single woman. Hannah was rumored to have been friends with an Egyptologist by the name of Joseph Bonomi, whose own grave is not far away from Hannah's. He is said to have designed the imposing granite mausoleum. The tomb includes what many see as a pyramid-like roof with inscriptions on the exterior walls resembling Egyptian hieroglyphics. Similar markings can also be seen on Bonomi's gravestone. Some Victorians believed that ancient Egyptian pharaohs possessed the secret to time travel. Did Bonomi somehow attain this knowledge during his travels to Egypt? Intriguingly, Bonomi was said to be friends with an inventor named Samuel Alfred Warner. Warner claimed to have invented a bomb that could be delivered via teleportation. I have seen him referred to as a con man, but it does appear that the Navy was interested in his weaponry inventions and he's reported to have been invited to provide the Royal Navy with demonstrations of his creations. If this is true, perhaps his claims had some legitimacy to them. This has led some to believe that the mausoleum is perhaps not a time machine, but a teleportation chamber. There are stories that it is part of a network of eight such chambers, seven in London and one in Paris. And by the way, Warner is also buried in this same cemetery, in an unmarked grave not far from the Courtois tomb. So besides the odd design of the mausoleum, what else has helped fuel rumors of the sci-fi nature? Well, believers have claimed that the tomb is the only one in Brompton Cemetery without a key or a plan. However, cemetery officials have stated that there are many tombs in the cemetery that did not have plans. So there's nothing special about that. And about the key, well, there was one, but it has apparently been missing since the late 1970s. According to Hannah's great-great-grandson, the key has gone missing, but he is very interested in having it replaced so that he can enter the tomb and see for himself if there is anything to these legends. If you've heard any other stories about the time machine or have any more information, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say and what you've learned about the time machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Brompton Cemetery is a beautiful place to visit if you're in the area. Please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.